We all live in a world where things change as a function of time. Hence the term steady state can be a bit confusing because steady state implies that there are no changes with respect to time. In this video, I will provide three examples to help you understand steady state. We will start with an easy example. If you take a glass of water and measure the water level as a function of time, you will see that it does not change. But at the same time, the position of the bee was changing. So if we take the top half of the screen to be our system, then the system is not in a steady state because the position of the B was changing with respect to time. However, if I just consider the glass of water to be the system, then it would be a steady state system as there is nothing in it that changes as a function of time. Now let us take a different example. Imagine a water tank, water flows inside it through an inlet. This is going to cause the water level to rise and let us say at the rate of one inch per second. Now, if we add one additional hole in the tank and remove the water at the same rate as it comes through the inlet, then the water level is no longer going to change. Though all of this is a time-based event, the free surface height has reached what you would call a steady state. Steady state analysis is done on system where the quantity of interest is not changing with respect to time. This quantity can be temperature, mass, enthalpy or any other variable of interest. Any real world process can be mathematically described as the time rate of change of that process, which is governed by sources and sinks. Let us take a simple example. Let M be the amount of money that you have in bank. The rate of change of money with respect to each and every day can be written as dm by dt. dm dt should be equal to sources minus sinks. Sources help you gain more money and sinks help you lose more money. If you have more sources of money than sinks, then your rate of change of money with respect to time is going to have a positive slope and you will end up with a lot of cash. An example would be to enroll in a course at Skilllink, gain awesome skills, and getting a job which helps in increasing your sources of income. That being said, if you have more sinks than sources, then you will be in trouble as you start to lose money. Say that you earn five rupees a second. That sounds great, right? But what if you also lose 10 rupees at the same second? Your DM DT would be five minus 10, which is equal to negative five. If you integrate the simple ordinary differential equation for 3600 seconds, then you would have lost 18,000 rupees in just one hour, which is pretty bad. If steady state assumption is used in this situation, that would mean that your sources and sinks are equal to each other. You are neither losing money or gaining it. All right. I hope through this video, you learned what steady state is and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.